will show you how to make a paper crane. I'm pretty sure you've guys seen this. This is Japanese origami. What's interesting about Japanese origami is that out of these pieces of paper, you're able to create a variety of things. We have some special guests in the background. Special sleepy guests. Be like, wait, where can I get the supplies? To be honest, all you need is square paper. This is very cheaply found online. You can get them on Amazon, at Walmart, you can get them at Target, especially art supply stores. You should definitely want to find paper that is cut square. So that's where you can get that. And enough talking, let's get started. And first, we fold the paper in half. Make sure you crease the paper real well because the creases will help with the folding. Open it up and repeat the same step on the other side. All right, and then we open it up again. Now we are going to connect two of the ends and form a triangle. Open it back up and do the same on the other side. Now we're going to open it back up and now we're going to fold it in half as such, fold it in half, you take two of the top ends, you, you grab two of the ends on the top, and you bring it forward to make this diamond shape. And flatten this down once it's in this shape. There should be a closed end and an open end. Open end is down. Now, you take one flap. There should be another one underneath it. Take one flap and we fold. And repeat on the other side. Now, flip it over and do the same. Okay. Now you should have sort of like this kite shaped, right? With two flaps on both sides. And now we're gonna fold this part. Make sure you crease it really well. And we open the shape back up. Fold this triangle down again. And on the open end, we take it and open it, kind of like a little bow. Then we fold in the sides and flatten it down. You can kind of fix it on the top here because sometimes it gets messed up. And repeat on the other side. So we're going to open this up fold this triangle part down and open it up make it into a little boat and flatten it down part might be hard to get neatly but with time and practice you get better and we end up with these triangles with these little running legs. Now with the moving legs side down, we are going to fold it in once again. Make sure there is another flap on the other side. See, there should be one more underneath it and that is for folding it on the other side. There should be an extra flap underneath it so do not fold both. So now we're going to fold this side. And now we'll do the same. And we'll do 
do the same on the other side. We flip it over. Right, and repeat the same steps. Well, this is the part where it gets a bit complicated. Again, you should have the running legs, right? This time, we're gonna take both flaps, open it up on this side, right? And we're gonna take, we're gonna flip it over, take the other side, and fold it again, and connect those pieces together. Flatten it down. Now, you should have this weird shape with some other mini legs, right? Sort of like this weird shape, mini legs. With the legs on the, the top part. There should be two flaps. Take one of them and fold them up. Repeat it again on the other side. Now we're gonna go in the middle and open it up. These should be the wings. There should be a line right here. Do the same on the other side. Open it up and flatten it down. And now as you can see, go on the top part and you can open it up. And these are the wings. With the neater part of the paper crane, you will leave it alone because that will be the tail end of the paper. And now with the not so fancy part, which I chose as this little side right here, we are going to fold it down. This will make the beak for the paper crane. And this is the final result, as you can see. Very fancy fella. All right. And with all of that said, that will be it for the tutorial on how to make a paper crane. You can follow me on my social media or subscribe for more. See you on the next one.